Okay, Yashika, Pulkit and Trevor, I'm so glad you've made it this far. We're in chapter 7 and we are just going to talk a little bit more about quadratic functions and the features of, of a quadratic function. So I wanted to point out a few things of importance. So in the last lesson you've learned about the fact that when it is up um, y is equal to x squared, it's a positive x, so it opens up, okay? y is equal to negative x squared. This is a very down kind of a graph. He is feeling down, so it's opening down. Okay, now something else that you need to notice, and I'm just going to draw this in, is that if it's a graph that opens up, we call this point, its lowest point, the minimum value. So for a positive graph, we would call it a minimum value. Okay, we call that its minimum value. And then when it opens down, that is the maximum value that it could possibly have. So we call this point its maximum value. Okay, very obvious. This point here, all right, which we could say is 0, 0 for both graphs and for x and for y it would be 0, 0 that is called the vertex of the graph the vertex and that point is the vertex for both these graphs ok, so the highest point or the lowest point that coordinates, the coordinate there is called the vertex. Okay, another thing that I would like to point out to you is that if we now would go and we would go and plot y is equal to a half x, okay, then that is going to fit in here. y is equal to a half x squared. That is going to fit in here. Okay, and if I then go and I plot y is equal to 2x squared, you guessed right, it is going to fit in here. y is equal to 2x squared. So what is the general rule that we can make here? If I now go and I put in front of the x squared a, um, a fraction, it is going to make my parabola, which is what this curve is called, it's making the parabola wider. Whereas if I put a whole number in front of it, it makes it narrower. And it would do the same, exactly the same on the opposite side, if I have negative 2x squared, this would be negative 2x squared, and that would be negative a half x squared. So this is y is equal to negative um, a half x squared and this is y is equal to 2x squared. Okay? So I think you know enough basics now to move on and do a few of the examples in the textbook which you should have done by now and then I'd like you to now move on in Blackboard and find the homework and submit that for me. Thank you.